hello guys so in this video we are going to write one program in assembly language of 8085 to sort given n numbers from a block in ascending order okay and it is given that assume that memory block begins at d00 that is from this memory location okay now let's suppose here n equals to 10 what it means it means that we have 10 bytes of data okay so uh, we have to arrange this 10 bytes of data in ascending order and we have to write a program for the same okay so the first and the foremost step to write any program is to write its algorithm okay so here we will use bubble sort algorithm okay now what this algorithm says okay so it says nothing but just we have to uh, compare the adjacent numbers okay and accordingly we have to swap okay let me tell you the algorithm by suitable example suppose we have this four numbers 12 34 10 and 36 and we have to arrange them in ascending order by using this bubble sort algorithm okay so what we will do we will just simply compare the adjacent pairs okay so let us compare 12 and 34 12 is less so it remains as it is now we will move ahead and we will compare 34 and 10 okay so now we as we want ascending order so the smaller number should be the first okay so we will write this as 12 34 sorry by first by comparing 12 and 34 12 is smaller so it will remain as it is then we will compare 34 and 10 so 10 is smaller so 10 will be as it is and 34 will be here okay and 36 as it is okay now we will compare these two okay now 10 is smaller so 10 will be here 12 will be here then we will compare 12 and 34 then 34 and 36 okay so this is the required ascending order from 10 12 34 and 36 simple so this is nothing but bubble sort algorithm okay so i hope this is clear so now let us start writing the program in assembly language okay so what first we will do here i have taken four numbers only okay for understanding but let us write the program for 10 numbers okay now from this algorithm one can say that for four numbers we require three pass okay this is the first this is second and this is third so for 10 numbers we, we will require nine number of passes okay so first we will initialize one counter let us say in register b and this is 09 h okay we initialize one counter then we will initialize one memory pointer let's say this is actual memory pointer and our question says the block of data begins from this d 0 h now we will require one more counter okay now why we will require this one more counter one counter for comparison of this okay and now after completing one pass we have to move again to the forward so we moved forward how many times three times okay so for n equals to four we required three passes so for n equals to 10 we will require 9 passes okay now what we will do simply move m to a it means that the contents of the memory location pointed by hl means the contents of the memory location d 0 h where our first number reside okay is transferred to 
accumulator okay now what we are doing we are incrementing h because as we need two numbers for comparison so first number is transferred to a now we are incrementing h so our hl pointer okay will now point to d001 okay now we will compare this now what will this instruction will do this will do comparison of a and m now m is the loca uh, the data at the location d001 h where s a is what the data present at d000 h okay because we incremented hl pointer by 1 by using this instruction okay so what will this instruction will do it will simply compare okay now the main thing comes after comparison it means a minus m okay what we require for ascending for ascending one we require smaller number in accumulator okay and if the number is larger then what we will do so simply we will swap the contents okay so let's do it so i will write the instruction just see carefully don't get scared jump on carry to skip or jump on zero to skip jump on carry what it means that a is smaller because carry will on only be generated when a is smaller okay because when we will do a minus m carry or we can say borrow will be generated only when a is smaller and a is smaller is the required one for ascending sort because we are performing ascending sort so simply what we will do we will skip to here okay so this is the case like this 12 and 34 so we won't swap the contents okay so we will skip simply what we will do dcrc it means we are decrementing this counter by one then we are using jump on non-zero to back then again we are decrementing b then again we are writing jump on non-zero to start okay just forgot this for few minutes okay forgot this content but i have written just forgot this for few minutes don't get scared okay it all will be clear okay after watching this video now we are skipping okay over here okay but what if a is larger means what if a is greater than m a is greater than m then carry will not be generated so we will not jump to skip okay that is over here but what we have to do we have to swap the contents it is the case like this when 34 and 10 when a is greater than m then what we will do we will swap the contents okay so now how to swap the contents okay so direct swapping is not possible in 8085 so we will use some register temporarily to store data and then we will exchange okay so let us begin the swapping what we are doing the first step move the content of m into d let's store the content of m what is the content of m right now it is the data at d001 let us store it temporarily temporarily in any general purpose register d okay now what we are doing move the content of m into a sorry uh, move the content of a into m okay so what are the contents of a right now this is d 0 h data location okay so so what we are doing we are moving the contents of location d 0 h to m and what is m right now this one so half of the swapping is done that is the data from the location d 0 h is transferred to 
d zero zero one h, but the vice versa is remaining. Okay, so we will do that now. Now for that we will decrement h. Okay, d c x h. It means what? The h is right now d zero zero one h, but we are decrementing to d zero 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 h. Okay, so for what purpose we are decrementing because we want this data to be transferred here okay so and we know that this data is initially we stored at the register i mean in register d so what we will do simply move the data from d to m because right now after decrementing at m is what d 0 0 0 h so this swapping is done okay and again as we decremented h again we have to go to d00 1h because after swapping we have to move ahead okay so we are simply incrementing again h okay now the question is where this start and back will come so this is back and this is start okay now let me explain it thoroughly first we are what we are doing we are initializing one counter okay uh, so then we are doing initializing one memory pointer okay then again one more counter okay as explained earlier now what we are doing initially m is the data at the memory location pointed by hl memory pointer so initially hl is loaded with d00 0h okay so m is what data at d00 0h it is transferred to accumulator okay so the first number out of 10 numbers is in accumulator now we are incrementing h that is it will become d0001 h now okay now we are comparing m what this instruction will do it will compare a and m by subtracting so a minus m is performed okay now m is what the data at memory location d 0 0 0 1h and a is what data at memory location d 0 0 0 h okay now jump on carry to skip or jump on zero to skip jump on carry means what when a is smaller because as we are performing ascending sort so we want smaller number first so if a is smaller then jump to skip or both are equal then also we don't have to swap so jump to skip but if this case is not true means if no carry is generated it means what a is greater than m here carry means borrow only so a is greater than m so what we have to do we have to swap the contents okay so we have to in short we have to interchange so how we are interchanging firstly we are moving the contents of m into d temporarily we are storing the contents of what is m right now this d0001 h okay data okay that is data at location this so we are temporarily storing it in any register d okay then we are moving a to m what it means d a means the contents of this location and m is m is what contents of this location we are moving this to this okay so half of the swapping is done but vice versa is remaining okay so for that what we will do we are decrementing h means h now will again becomes d 0 0 0 h okay now what we are doing we are moving this temporary data which was stored earlier to m before m was what d00 1h data okay but now m is what d00 0h data 
so d001 h data is now moved to d000 0h so the vice versa is also done and again we are incrementing this h so that we can move to next number okay now this is this whole will cover swap okay this is very important okay now what about this okay so it is nothing but when we are getting this carry and we are, we are getting zero then we are skipping over here okay so we are skipping this instructions and we are directly jumping over here so what we, what it is doing it is decrementing c then it is checking for zero okay c is initially nine then it will become eight seven six until zero okay so when it becomes zero then it will jump here okay otherwise it will again move here so all this will comparison means this comparisons are this 12 34 34 10 and 10 36 all these comparisons are covered in this dcrc jump on non-zero to back so this loop will continue for that we are we have initialized this 0 9 okay then after c equals to 0 we will jump here our program flow will be here now then decrementing d this one okay and this will be also done nine times okay and this decrementing b is same as again we are going from again we are going to first number so similarly this program is going to first number because after this decrement we jump on non-zero to start we are going to first number again our hl will initialize with d 8 that is the first number out of 10 numbers and again the whole process is repeated so we are moving over here and then halt of the program the program is quite a bit difficult but it's easy please do your sincere effort efforts okay and let me know if you have any confusion in the comment section thank you so much i hope you like the video thank you